Hi, Jonathan York from Investment Research Group, uh, looking at the investment markets ahead. Um, after the uh, uh, Jackson Hole meeting uh, at, the, at the end of last week, um, not really a lot of fresh news came out of that from the, uh, from the central bankers and the, the authorities, but again, enough sort of comforting words seemed to sort of soothe the markets, and uh, the US market did trade up a little bit on the back of that. But the uh, market still are pretty nervous out there. Um, just to give you an indication, um, uh, Apple and Steve Jobs announced that he was going to step down and uh, Apple shares fell, uh, fell around 10%. Um, on the other side, um, Warren Buffett announced that he was buying into Bank of America. And at one point, the shares were up 20, over 20% 20 um, in the session. And um, they finished up the session around sort of 8, 9% up. As uh, investors took comfort that uh, one of the world's most renowned investors was putting money into, uh, into Bank of America. So there are certainly some good buying opportunities out there and it's just a question of finding, finding the right time and also finding the right companies to purchase. Um, overnight we've seen uh, quite a big move in the, the Greek uh, share market uh, where a couple of banks have announced uh, they're looking to merge. Um, that has given a little bit of confidence out there and again one point uh, the share market in Greece was up over 20%. Um, so as a, there is appear to be some positive signs coming out there. What we just need to see is a little bit of, uh, a little bit of consolidation um, before looking to move, uh, move slightly, uh, slightly higher. Uh, this week obviously the markets will be tested with the uh, uh, data release at the end of the week. Um, with the US uh, unemployment data. Um, in the meantime, uh, markets to say appear to be sort of trying to trade a little bit higher. Um, domestically, there's been uh, a little bit of good news out for Port of Tauranga um, with another major shipping uh, company announcing that will be its, its major um, New Zealand uh, port. Um, so the shares are trading up at uh, lifetime highs. Yeah, domestically also we've got the, uh, the New Zealand bond offer, um, it's going to be a five year bond, um, and yet the uh, rate hasn't been announced, uh, indicative indications appear to be sort of 690 to 720, uh, and if you are interested in that uh, call us on 0800 um, to reserve some allocation. Uh, commodities are still pretty nervous out there and pretty volatile. Um, we've seen another little bit of a leg down on gold, um, but oil is starting to trade a little bit higher. Um, fortunately for, uh, for Kiwis, um, the New Zealand dollar is tracking a little bit higher as well, so we're being um, a little bit protected at the, uh, at the petrol a little bit higher, um, back up to around 84 versus the, the US. Um, that is having some pretty major implications on uh, tourism and also obviously the exporters as well. Um, so just watch this space to see how that impacts on uh, on growth uh, going forward for the rest of the year. Rest of the year. Disclosure statement available on request, or you can go to the website www.irgbop.co.nz for lots of interesting articles. We look forward to speaking to you soon.